Hello there, this is Caleb with the Unnamed Production Company. Um, I'm continuing RPG A Day for 2019. Uh, for days 3 and 4, um, I'm doing it solo, but don't worry, the rest of the guys will be back for part of the month. Um, so, like I said to the, earlier, I'm going to be doing days 3 and 4. Okay, day three's prompt is engage. Now, engage is a word. I kind of have many ways I can go with this. And um, my buddy Sam that you saw in the first episode had a great one. And I'm going to I'll put his in here because he, he brought up a good one. And it was, and I'm going to put mine in also, but it's his was how to engage your players more. And I'm going to do a short answer to this because I would like him to elaborate on it if need because it was his prompt but kind of the easy way that I do that is I now this may be like duh to a lot of people but it's something that I've discovered that works very well is have the characters come up with a pretty good backstory doesn't have to be like a novel I mean I personally don't I don't want a novel as a backstory but give a decent backstory with purpose and tell them to purposely leave some holes in it like, say, your father was killed, but you don't know who the murderer is. Boom, that leaves an opening right there. It's just simple stuff like that, and that's I find that. And then when you roleplay it out in the game, that brings that gets the player involved a lot more. Um, that was my short on that. But my, for my topic for Engage is, I kind of went more, I guess, simple route. And my thing is, um, engage in the hobby a little more. Um, I know that may seem a little odd, but I kind of take that as... If you're mainly a player, try a step at DMing. It's first time, yes, first time will always be terrifying, but it'll work out. Uh, I promise you on that. Um, if you stick with one game, try a different game. Try a different setting. Try a different system. Um, or, here's the good thing, take the system you really love, merge it with the setting you really love. You might have to hack a system to do that. To trust me, if you Google it, the probably, hacks are probably already done. But just stay with the hobby, engage in it, keep it alive, keep it going. Um, simple like that. So kind of short and sweet, but that's it for day three, engage. Now we go into day four, which is share. Now this one I can go on and on and on about because I watch and listen to a lot of stuff. Um... I know last year I brought up a lot of uh, YouTube channels, um, and I mean the ones I still watch: uh, Geek and Sundry, uh, Critical Role, Saving Throw. They're pretty much the primary ones I watch for YouTube. They have a lot of really good actual plays on there, uh, like L.A. by Night, Callisto Six. Critical Role still has their D&D campaign. Um, but this year I want to kind of change it and say, uh, go with podcast. I have, there's been a couple of podcasts I've always listened to, but I know in this last year I have really upped the amount of podcasting I'm listening to just mainly because the way my life is right now, it's just a lot easier to listen to podcasts and I can listen to a lot more of them if I want. Um, the ones I'm going to be sharing are probably some of my favorite ones. Um, first is going to be the one that I've listened to for a long time and probably still my top rated one is darker days radio. Um, they started this back, I want to say, they just hit 10, year, 10 years, so it's got to been, I don't think I was listening to when it first came out, but that means 2000, I guess 2009. Wow, okay, yeah, I guess it has been 10. Um, they are focused on primarily World of Darkness products. Um, they do do some actual plays, but that's not their focus. Um, they do a lot of reviews of books. They do a lot of they do old and new world of dark. Well, at the time they did old and new world of darkness back when it was kind of two separate lines. Um, the big thing that they did, and still my favorite part of the podcast, is um, they call it the secret frequency, and that's when they take just really r bizarre and weird stuff that um, happens in real life, and it's how to integrate it into a um, 
into a world of darkness chronicle and it's just fascinating hearing some of these things and some of them it's like oh man i could easily insert that into my mage chronicle or boom all oh, that works perfect for vampire um and it's just cool little th- and i think they're publishing on um the storytellers well i believe they're publishing a story uh, secret frequency book which would be really neat to see and i'm curious if they take some of the ones from their podcast uh the other big one i want to list is um twin cities by night um that one's been going on for a really long time too um that is a it used to be primarily just the vampire the masquerade actual play but i think they now do they do other world of darkness games i think every so often they do i mean it's all horror games but every so often they do non world darkness games like i think they have a call of cthulhu game on there um but it started out primarily as a vampire the masquerade i believe it was 20th anniversary edition they started with um, it was just a really good chronicle at the time. I think it was the only Vampire the Masquerade podcast or actual play out there. Um, and it's still going. It's just, if you want a good World of Darkness or Vampire the Masquerade story, check out Twin Cities by Night. Uh, another one that I listen to a lot is Red, Red Moon Role Playing. This is one that I kind of recently started listening to, but they have... out. Out of most of the podcasts I listen to, their production quality and the editing quality are the the best. Like, it is top-notch. Now, they focus on dark role-playing games. Um, the, no particular game or system, but it's just typically like a dark story. Like, their first one was Cult, Divinity Lost role-playing game. Um, they did Curse of Strahd. Um, what else did they do? Oh, they have a Vampire the Masquerade game going out right now. But pretty much, like they said, no specific game, genre, or setting. Like, just as long as it's like a dark game, they play them. And like I said, the production quality, the editing is just top-notch for those. Um, I think the last one I'm going to share is the Roll to Play podcast. Now, this one deviates a little bit from the other ones, but this is one of my favorites. It is a, um, it's a couple years old. I think it started 2016, 2017, maybe. Um started by kent blue it's now become kind of a, a network with um they mer- like dice up games as part of them um but they primarily do one shot games um usually very indie games like he focuses like a lot of one page rpgs um which is not normally the type of game i play but <laughs> i laugh so much when i listen to this thing and it's not even made as a comedy series but just the quirkiness of the games the way the players role play just the storyline in general when they all come together is usually a really really fun time um so definitely check out the role to play podcast network it is um just want a really good time um listening so so that'll be it for days three and four um until next time happy gaming <laughs>